That's right, hot little Yuko with her giant sword is back in Valus 3. Many people are familiar with the Sega Genesis version of this game. On the American Turbo Graphics, Valus 3 is the second and final entry, although a fourth, a compilation of animations, and even a reworked first game were later released in Japan. This time, an evil lord named Ramses has invaded the ancient dream world of Vacanti. He has vowed the destruction of all who live there as well as on Earth. Once again, Yuko must unleash the fury of the Valus Sword to save her people. After inserting the CD-ROM and pressing run, it all begins with a really cool and extremely long animated sequence explaining the story. Of course, the US dubbing and narration is, well... Anyone object? <laughs> Seems no one objects. <laughs> yep, cheesy as hell. Cutscenes like these appear throughout the game and are really nice, eliminating Part 2's ugly green border. Valdis 3 is a one-player action platformer. You attack enemies using weapons and magic, platform through nine different stages, and defeat a boss at the end of each. Yuko does her basic sword attacks, runs, performs medium and high jumps, and even hops down from platforms. Very similar to Legendary Axe, there is a meter at the top which depletes with each attack and slowly builds back up for a more powerful hit. Yuko can also slide this time, which is necessary to master because it not only makes her invincible, but also attacks enemies. Some wide jumps cannot be made without this move. Aside from Yuko herself, you can also control two other characters who will eventually join the party. In this game, you can swap between them during play at any time, and each has her own strengths and weaknesses to learn. Even the magic items collected, fire, ice, and thunder, are utilized slightly differently by each character. Speaking of magic and power-ups, you can also collect life restoration, one-ups, even increases in weapon power, but these icons do disappear after a time. You will encounter a bunch of strange enemies. Depending on weapon strength, some require one hit and gone, some require multiple hits. Let's not forget the foray of bosses that will taunt you. My intro was a bit flashy, but do you like it? <laughs> and then they'll attack. By the orders of the mighty Ramses, can't let you guys through. Hey, come on. <laughs> uh. Obviously, running out of energy or time, which never seemed to be a problem really, equals a life lost. When all lives are gone, you can continue, which will fling you back to the very beginning of the current area, either immediately or in the future, as each completed stage saves into the memory. There are unlimited continues though, so a little perseverance, and you should get through this game eventually. The game looks really plain at first, but eventually improves with nice looking and colorful areas. The location variety, often on the same stage, is great. I love the small graphical touches, like when characters change clothes in the game. This change also carries over onto the continue screen. There is some well done animation in game and during cutscenes. The game is a step up from the previous installment and is overall well designed, although it could use some multi-scrolling backgrounds to add a little bit of dimension. As mentioned, there is a lot of speech in this game and obviously it ranges in quality. At times the voices definitely don't match the character speaking. My wish is to confront the Sword of Valus. That's his voice? <laughs> 
the CD quality music is really great and adds such a wonderful atmosphere. Sadly, the sound effects consist of boring explosions, yelps, and attacks, but as in the previous game, most are just drowned out by the music. The good news is the overall control is sharp and an improvement over the second Valus game. Sometimes a jump will not work and you'll swear that it should have. And there is a slight delay with jumps and slides, but overall the controls are pretty solid. To me, Valus 3 is more fun than and improves on the second game, but it isn't quite perfect. First, my biggest pet peeve is the knock back that happens when you're hit. Yeah, we've seen this in other games, sure, but man, if you're near a pit or something, ugh, it's never any fun. Secondly, the game has some balance issues with its difficulty setting. The first four stages are extremely easy. Then you reach area five. Hmm, now the slide doesn't work. Another character? Hmm, nope. Eventually you'll figure out that you need to freeze enemies and jump across. Okay, but wait, there are a million in a row, you'll run out of magic, get knocked back of course, and yeah, see those bite marks on the controller? Let's just leave it at that. Oh, and you still have to defeat this bell slash boss at the end of it all. This stage, along with a couple of later ones, will take a lot of perseverance to get through. I found a strange sense of completion satisfaction with them, so this issue doesn't bother me as much as some. But be warned, as it might burn you out on the game way too early because of this lack of a controlled ramp up in difficulty. The boss battles are also imbalanced in this way, either being very easy or extremely hard with a huge learning curve and a little luck. Those issues aside, Valus 3 is still a pretty good action platformer. It has some nice stages, good graphics, awesome music, and really well done cutscenes, which is what made a lot of early CD games shine. That emptiness feeling of part two is a lot less here. Plus it has that early American CD-ROM cheese factor. I swear on the sword of Valus, on my life, that I will take you. Whoa, hey now. Valus 3 is for an action platform fan who wants a challenge, won't get burned out too quickly, and can get past a couple of flaws. It's a pretty good game and a slight step up from its predecessor with some really nice improvements along with the addition of character swapping. The good news is, Yuko is still pretty hot. I mean, at least as a kid I thought she was. You know, I don't anymore. <laughs>